Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. Uh, in this replay we have Artem Costa in the tier 10 uh, British light tank, which is currently top of the tree. It is the Manticore. Um, so Artem Costa going to go with CVs, going to go with Bond, Coated Optics and Bounty Exhaust. With the directive that actually increases um, the effectiveness of the camo skill on the crew. So, Artem Costa over here. Fighting in some tier 9 vehicles on Abbey, decided to go east over here. <clears throat> a lot of times when you play a light tank, you see them just rush the middle, right? Try to take those cheat positions um, at the center of the map. But Artem Costa doesn't want that position. They want to see if they can spot people towards the east. There we go. This is actually a position I've never used before. Knock down the tree over here. Just falling back, you know, in case, just in case we're spotted. But to know. Double T62A over here, getting smacked by the leopards, the the grills, the SDRVs, and this is just what we want to do. Um, so, while we see that T62A burn to death, uh, why Manticore, right? Why did I decide to feature the Manticore? Well, it is top of the tree, right? The Manticore and the TVP T5051 are currently top of the tree. Um, you might actually want to, to try and get it, you know, because there's that pretty, uh, pretty funny... 3D style, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle style. Um, but yeah, the Manticore is also the second most sneakiest light tank inside the tier 10 matchups. Um, the only, only behind the EBR 105, which is, you know, is it really like a light tank? I mean, it, it has the 340, I believe, base view range, the EBR, right? Um, so the extra 1% camo, something that it has on the Manticore is, uh, yeah, it's very yes, you know, but okay, Artem Costa over here, so far up to 2,924, switching to an 80 round, finish off the, finish off the, shoot the grill, 557, that's crazy stuff. Apologies, um, yes, yeah, so Artem Costa, as you can see, going with, uh, with girl rounds as regular rounds, uh, like, we did have a conversation about that on one of the previous streams where it seems like most people are starting to use only gold, right? Not the 5% that Wargaming said. It's actually closer to like 50% of the shells fired actually gold rounds. But you know, when you're trying to get marks, when you're trying to just um, get every game, get a win, it does make sense. And I mean, when you use some bounty um, exhaust, use some bond coated optics, what is a few more credits? to fire gold, right? So Artem seeing that the team is crashing towards the west, going, trying to spot over there, spotting the E4, spotting the Fosh 155, super confident, shuffle to force fire over there, actually pushing forwards, Fosh 155 is going to die, can you finish off the Shah over here, before finishes off the Fosh, we can't do that unfortunately, and the Fosh 155 dies, now it's the Shah out in the open, hopefully the team can put some shells in because, you know, you can't really one-shot him, and you can do the low roll over here, average damage over 3 and 90, just need the slight high roll, unfortunately got a low roll instead. Um, yeah, you know, that one shot curse when it seems like you can get someone with one shell and then just get a horrible low roll. Unfortunately, that happened over here. Uh, but this is not looking good towards the west. We have an E4, we have a Super Conqueror, Conqueror T10, a lot of vehicles over there. There's a Fosh 155 at the back that hasn't been spotted uh, for a while. So, Artem decides to fall back from that bad position. You know, they can still spot while driving. And bounce the Super Conqueror shell, I guess. A goal round by the Super Conqueror, actually. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the driving skills by Artem over here. But yeah, bouncing a Super Conqueror's goal round is crazy. It actually took, the gun actually took the shell, but the gun didn't get destroyed, so. Getting the best of both worlds. Unfortunately, the ally T49 drowns, the Waffentrager dies, and yeah. From a 4-4 game, it is now 7-4 in the enemy team's favor. Maybe we can shut down the Super Conqueror over here, put one into the Super Conqueror. Then we go, actually getting hit once by the force, just one shell, and get the kill over here. First kill of the game for Artem Costa, up to 1,500 damage, 5,000 spotting already, which is like, it's a pretty good game, right? It's a pretty nice game on this map already. How good will it actually get? Just gonna have to wait and see. So, um, yeah, the Manticore, usually when you see those, they're kind of sneaky, you know, sneaking around the battlefield, sitting in a bush, spotting everything. But Artem Costa knows that it's it's not going to work here. You need to do the damage 
it's going to be close range fights most of the time against the T10, you know, against the people towards the east. You do need to use the gun as well. Yes, it does have horrible DPM, horrible reload time um, on the Manticore, but you do have the 390 Alpha. That 390 Alpha is, is really, really nice. Actually spotting a Boffin Tracker towards the west while shooting another one towards the middle, doing everything over here. So yeah, use the gun. Don't be afraid to use the gun of the Manticore. It does a lot of damage. It is very reliable as well. So please, please, if you're using the Manticore, you can, you can shoot more, right? That's what I wanted to show in this video. It's like every single Manticore game that you see at the top, right, experience-wise, is a lot of spotting. It's they rush into a bush and then they just spotted everything without getting spotted, which is awesome. But like when you don't spot anything, or if you just spot one thing or something that you can fire at, do it, right? You need to be aggressive. You can be aggressive with a manticore, is what I'm trying to say. Sure, there are maps where being sneaky and cheeky are the best, but there are maps where you will have to do some damage as well, just like on, on Abbey, right? If Adam Costa didn't actually go towards the west, shoot the Shah, shoot the Super Conqueror, shoot the Wolf and Chagas over there, who knows what the situation would have been, right? And he could actually, they were able to shoot these vehicles, thanks to the V-range and the sneakiness of the vehicle. So it's kind of like, it's not that one trick pony that some people think it is. It can do two things, like a sniping a grill from 500 meters away, I guess. Yes, you can do those things, um, which is something that a lot of people don't actually do. Oh no, losing 159 hit points here might prove awful later, but the Sheridan is pushing forwards into the Wolf Dragon, the Cheetah is pushing forwards, the Grizz pushing, Leopard PTA, Sheridan ramming the Leopard for no reason, taking 500 damage, I don't understand that, but pushing Artem up on the hill over here. Near finish of the Sheridan quickly, but the Grill shuts down the Leopard unfortunately, making this a 1v5 Artem Costa against 5 vehicles on the engine. Who has the better reload though? Is it the Grill? Is it the Manticore? The Grill just stopped. I guess the Grill was just finishing the reload over there. Luckily, Artem gets the shot in. Um, so like I said, Manticore has awful reload time, you know, which is... If the Grill has awesome crew, has a gun rammer's stuff to help increase the range of fire, it would have been dangerous. Shutting down the E4, delicious stuff. That was a, that was a cheeky blind shot by the Wolf and Traga. That was a cheeky blind shot. Wasn't far. Wasn't far off. They're shutting down already. Two of the five vehicles on the enemy team. Resetting the cap over here. Is the Wolf Traga going to stay there? Or are they going to move? It's actually Artem who's going to move over here. Which is an interesting choice, right? Maybe they thought the Wolfenschlag and the T10 are pushing through that eastern area, trying to find a different angle, maybe, to catch the Wolfenschlag in the cap circle. Whew. So Artem, six shells. As you can see, the Leopard PTA asking if they have enough ammo, because this vehicle can actually carry only 20, 20 rounds, if I'm not mistaken. That is definitely not a large amount. That is definitely not a vehicle that, you know, was supposed to, to do a lot of damage. It can do the damage, like I said. It is very reliable, as you can see, when it needs to do the damage. But it can't do too much, right? You will need to, to look out for the shells that you have, which is, like, another reason why I find it very understandable that Artem went with only gold over here. Because you just don't have a lot of choice, right? You can't take a lot of shells. You don't get to choose too much with your Manticore because it is limited to only 12, 20 shells per battle. Okay, so Artem is trying to find a different error, but the Wolf and Trunk actually goes for a section. The big Wolf and Trunk down the could one shot him. And the T10 as well. Luckily, shutting down the Wolf and Trunk over here. That Wolf and Trunk would have actually one shot Artem unless they got a low roll. That was the Wolf and Trunk with a 750 alpha damage gun. And this is the T10. Just watch out, you have four shots. Why are you trying to jump You're going for the auto aim shot. Oh my goodness. You mad lad. You crazy person. Auto aim and shooting a T10 while driving when you have only four shells remaining and you need every single shell that is crazy that is crazy t10 is now on the hunt going forwards and getting stuck <laughs> oh no oh no the t10 didn't expect it to be so steep i guess and artem getting the sixth kill of the game for the fourth kill from 
the 1v5 and now making this game a 1v1 Artem versus Wolfentrager but Artem only has two shells remaining and the Wolfentrager is on 835 hit points what does that tell us that tells us that Artem actually needs two high rolls two high rolls not one both shells need to high roll over here if Artem wants to win the battle five minutes remaining what is Artem going to do over here go and capture the base like the Leo says that might be dangerous that might be dangerous the Wolfentrager is not the slowest of vehicles Looks like Artem is going towards the... Don't flip over! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was close. But yes, 1v1 from the Call of Banos medal. Right, if you get into a 1v5 and you emerge victorious, you actually get a Call of Banos medal, one of the most like crazy medals you can get inside the world of tanks. So, Artem in the cap, waiting, hoping the Wolfentrager will not go forwards. Try to defend the base. Whew. Luckily, the camo is also, like I said, on the Manticore. Second best out of any tier 10 light tank. And, uh, yeah. That'll make the Waffentrager not be able to see Artem, actually. Unless, unless they push forwards. But the Waffentrager should push forwards, you know? Like I said, it needs two high rolls. If it wants to finish off the Waffentrager with those two shells. And the Waffentrager just needs to, you know, hit... Hit Artem, and that is it, pretty much. Unless he gets unlucky like the Super Conqueror earlier. But yes, um, this is kind of like uh, the most nerve-wracking thing inside the game, right? For the Kolobanovs, you're inside the cap circle, and, and the Wolfendragon can just arrive from any, any angle. From the middle, from the left, from the right. It's, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. 30 seconds. Is the Wolfendragon going to give us the win? Is the Wolfendrager just going to give us one? Please do. Please just give us the color banoffs. Don't make this a, a heartbreak. No more heartbreaks. The, the Wolfendrager is going forwards. Artem with a clutch shot into him. I'm good. And the Wolfendrager misses. Unfortunately, it was, it was a high roll, but not in the front. We need a super duper high roll over here. 427 damage. We need this final shell. Faden's medal and a low roll. And a low roll. The Boffin Dragon actually misses. Oh my goodness. Can get the ram kill. Can get the. No, the frontal hit is not good. And now the Boffin Dragon is a chunkier than the Manticore, doing more damage with the rams. And he can just shoot once. And the game is over. Boffin Dragon 40 hit. The Boffin Dragon misses again. 147. Go for the ram again. Into the side. And it's actually getting the ram kill. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. Artem with. The awesome ram at the end, surviving on 38 hit points. 38 hit points. So why did, like, the first ram do so little and the second ram do so much? That is because the first ram was frontal. Right, Wolfentrager. Manticore, frontal hit. Wolfentrager is chunkier uh, than the Manticore, did more damage over there. But then he actually went to the side, hit the Wolfentrager in the side where there's less armor. And that means it does more damage. And it's it's just crazy. Just crazy stuff. Final shell, low rolled. Had to go for the run. The Wolf Trigger missing three times, I believe. Three times so that Artem can actually get this win. Amazing game by Artem. No, starting east, spotting those C62As, then shooting from that area, going towards the west, shooting the people over there, shutting down Super Conquerors, shutting down Sheridans, just spotting everything. And then once again going east right after the base was overrun. Pushing through the east, finishing off the grill, going towards the middle, shutting down the E4 uh, that was in the camp circle, then towards the middle of the map entirely, going all the way north and down, back again. <laughs> Crazy stuff, shutting down the Waffen Trigger, you know, with a clutch, driving forwards, finishing him off the T10 as well, with the crazy, the crazy auto aim. Like, I, I would have never, I would have never thought of actually trying um, an auto aim shot when you have four shells and every single shell counts absolute mad lad but you know the the, the results speak for themselves right 5666 damage seven kills 5000 spotting 10k over 10k combined crazy game for artem over here and securing the call of banners winning a 1v5 after staying against a grill a knee four two waffen triggers and a t10 absolutely amazing game 
by art and cost showing you that the manticore doesn't actually need to be that sneaky and cheeky vehicle it can also be a damage dealer as well uh, but yeah Awesome game, Artem GG's, let's go and check how awesome it was in the post game stats. There we go, getting the ace tanker of course for 1581 base experience, getting the Call of Banners medal like I said for standing against 5 or more enemy vehicles and just securing the win, right? Um, high caliber for the 5666 damage done, like... High caliber is not something you see the Manticore do very often because, yeah, it only has 20 shells. So, as you're getting this uh, medal, this reward with the Manticore is awesome. A tank sniper as well. Like I said, this vehicle can be reliable even with a gun. And, uh, yeah, Artem showing you that exactly how reliable it can be. Top gun for the seven kills. Finishing first on the damage, on the kills. XP, just playing an amazing game of World of Tanks. And yeah, 20 shells fired, 20 hit, 18 of those penetrated. That is almost a perfect game with the Manticore, which is insane. It's just absolutely insane. 2,611 of the damage was from a distance of more than 300 meters. Sniping Manticore, I guess. Three has received two pen, one did not that super conqueror that uh, got absorbed in the gun, right? Uh, kind of towards the middle part of the game. Saved us um, and let us have this awesome replay. Um, four vehicles spotted, 5,000 damage uh, due to the player's assistance. Eight vehicles damaged, seven of those were destroyed. 25 defense points and um, no cap points, but you know, it, it did go up to 80 or so cap points. So, so wargaming, maybe, maybe you should give Artem the cap points as well. But yeah, 5.81 kilometers traveled in this battle. Just to put it into perspective, like the map is a 1000 by 1000 meter map, okay? It's a one kilometer map. And Artem traveled 5.81 kilometers in that map, just showing you how much back and forth they had to do over here to get the win. Crazy, crazy stuff. But that's just exactly how I love the light tanks. You know, that's exactly how you should play them. If you can move from one side to the other and do more over there, then go back to your side. You should do that, right? You have the mobility, you have the uh, the ability to do those things with those vehicles. And I just loved seeing Artem doing that with the Manticore as well. Um, Credit-wise, yes. Um, You know, when you fire 20 gold rounds, I mean, 19 gold rounds, 1 HE round, right, against the gold 15. You are going to lose quite a bit of credits, as you can see, 91,000 credits um, to resupply the ammunition, 40,000 for consumables. Maybe next time, maybe next time you can actually buy consumables when discounted to save some credits. Um, losing almost 60,000 60, credits in total. But, I mean, I would much rather lose 60,000 credits and get this juicy game, you know, instead of the, like those 60,000 credits, I guess. 1,581 base xp 2372 in total 119 free xp and just and just an awesome game of the world of tanks so artem cost the gg well played awesome manticore game that you can get in the top of the tree right the manticore right now right this instant is top of the tree um there's also the battle pass the teenage mutant ninja turtle battle pass going live right now yes it is live right now <laughs> um where you can get a 3D style for the Manticore, like a, a crazy kind of toy tank with a weird eye on top type of 3D style, um, which I very, very much love. So, Battle Pass, top of the tree. Now is a very good time to get the Manticore if you're interested. And I mean, this is this is the type of performance you can have. So, why why not, right? Uh, but yeah, this is it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the Manticore? Do you want to get it? Do you have it? Is it overpowered, underpowered? What do you think of the vehicle? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. And once again, thank you so much everyone for watching. You're awesome. Stay awesome. Stay safe. And I feel I see you all in the next video. Tatas, have a good one, people.